to Growing Together Ministry. I'm Pastor David Ray of Williamston, a Husky, North Carolina. My apologies over the last few weeks, we've been having some internet service problems where the video has not been clear as it should be. And I'm hoping this week it is clear. But I welcome you to the weekly broadcast of this ministry for God. Serving God is all that matters. I want to invite you in two weeks, in two weeks, which will be January the 5th. I will be preaching the word of God at the Hampton Inn in Williamston, North Carolina at 6 p.m. Please join me in Williamston, North Carolina at 6 p.m. at the Hampton Inn right off Highway 64 in Williamston, North Carolina. As I will have a word from God for you. We will also believe in God for the internet service there that we will carry the broadcast on January the 5th live from Williamston, North Carolina. I want to speak to you for a few minutes on the with child of the Holy Spirit, with child of the Holy Spirit. I greet you in the name of Jesus, and I say a very special Merry Christmas to my friends in Jamaica. Merry Christmas in Tanzania, Africa, in Kenya, Africa, and all over the world. Merry Christmas to my friends here in North Carolina, in South Carolina, in Florida, in Georgia, in Tennessee, in West Virginia. Yes, our friends in West Virginia, Virginia. Merry Christmas. And I cannot forget our friends in the state of Texas that watch us. I praise God for all of you. Merry Christmas. And let us during this time and this season to reflect on the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's all about Jesus. It's not about me. It's not about the gifts that I receive or do not receive, or what you receive and do not receive. It's all about Jesus Christ and his birth over 2,000 years ago to set this old sinner free, to put me back on the right path a little over three years ago. Glory to God. That's what it's about. Focusing on the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. With child of the Holy Spirit is the title of the message. Let's go to God in prayer and ask God's blessing and guidance at this hour. Father, I pray for those that will watch live, Father, and the hundreds that will watch this broadcast this coming Christmas week. May, Father, we give you the honor and the glory that you deserve. This is all about you, your son being born and living and dying on Calvary's tree and then the resurrection and then ascending to be with you, Father. It's all about you, Father. 
let us not forget our priorities, not let pride and selfishness enter our minds during this time of what we want, but God, what you want from us. God, move in a mighty way on the message today. Lord, I pray for those that are watching that are unsaved. I pray, dear God, that right now they will repent of all their sins and ask you, Father, to come into their life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, come into their life. Lie. Hallelujah. That they may rejoice that they now know you as personal Lord and Savior. For the Christian that's hurting, God, use me to speak to them through your word. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I love you, God. I love you. I love you today. Take this broadcast and use it for your glory. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Let's go over to Matthew chapter 1, verse 18. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When, as his mother Mary was espoused, she was engaged to Joseph, before they came together, before they were married, she was with child. She was found with child of the Holy Spirit by decree of the Holy Spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, today, we can do nothing without the Holy Spirit. We can't even walk straight and keep our mind straight without the Holy Spirit involved in every activity of everything you do, even what you may be doing right now. Without the Holy Spirit involved, you are nothing. You are just existing, and you're not living in God without the Holy Spirit. And the only way that Mary was with child, which was Jesus, was through the working of the Holy Spirit. I cannot do anything in my flesh that is good, that is righteous, without the direction of the Holy Spirit moving in my life. If you are a child of the King, uh, you have accepted the Father as your personal Lord and Savior. The Holy Spirit is engulfed, lives within you right now. There is a burning flame. There is a torch that is lit within you right now because without that torch of the Holy Ghost power operating in you right now, you would not be able to function properly. And you say, Pastor David, I'm having a rough time. Are you walking in the fullness of the Holy Spirit? For Mary to have Jesus in her womb. It was a part of the plan of the Father and of the Holy Spirit. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Trinity working together to bring about this. And that is so exciting for all of us today that we can receive of the birth of Jesus. We can be partakers of the victory. So many folks want to be partakers of gifts. 
costs uh, and how much it's cost uh, and the worth of it or how pretty it looks. Uh, but I want to submit to you today, uh, be partakers of the Holy Spirit that lives within you, and you'll never thirst again. You'll never want for things of this world again, because you are of the Holy Spirit. God is operating in your life right now in a powerful way if you will allow the Holy Spirit to burn a flame in you now in the name of Jesus. I feel the anointing coming on. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit wants to help you. The Holy Spirit, which is a part of the Son and the Father, wants to cultivate in your mind positive activity, wants to keep you happy. You don't need to be dependent on man or woman. You need to be dependent on the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And thank God for Mary. But Mary is, I don't pray to Mary, dear brothers and sisters. I pray to Jesus because Jesus is my salvation. Jesus' blood at Calvary's tree has set me free. Jesus has given me life when I was in the dumps and didn't want to even exist anymore. Jesus, because I started letting the flame burn, and the flame has been burning brightly now for over three years ago when I rededicated my life to God for anything positive, to take place in your life, it must be by decree of the Holy Spirit. Matthew chapter 1, verse 19, Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, not willing to make her a public example, because she was carrying a child and was not married, was minded to put her away, privately, to quietly break the engagement. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto you Mary your wife, for that which is received in her is of what? The Holy Spirit. You cannot exist. You cannot move without the Holy Spirit moving in your life today. And I want to say to you, ladies and gentlemen, if you're living in depression, you're living in anxiety, you're living in, in, in financial ruin, you need to give God your all and follow the sweet voice of the Holy Spirit speaking to your mind to get right with God. Oh, Joseph was going to do the wrong thing. But thank God for the angel. Thank God for the angel appearing to Joseph there in verse 20. Thank God. God stops you and I before we go over the cliff. Hallelujah. Thank God that he stops us and say, wait a minute. What's going on in your life is of the Father. I praise his holy name today because he's a great God. Even at my worst 
times when the tears would not stop running from my face. I felt the tugging of the Holy Spirit on my life. Nothing is accomplished in your life today without the Holy Spirit, the with child of the Holy Spirit, the significance of the birth of Jesus connected with guidance for us today. After he lived 33 years and was crucified and arose on the third day, and then he went up into heaven, he left the Holy Spirit. I have the Holy Spirit in me right now. You have the Holy Spirit in you. Let God go to work in your life here at Christmas time. Don't worry about what you're going to get. If you don't get nothing, don't worry about it. The best gift is to become a Christian and sell out your all to God every minute of every hour of every day in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit because victory will come to you and you can have nothing financially and be driving a car that sputs, sputs, all up and down the road. But inside of you, glory to God, you're happy because you are at peace. You are at rest in God with the child of the Holy Spirit. Your connection today is free for the asking. You don't have to go to Walmart. You don't have to order it from Amazon. You don't have to beg anybody for anything. What Jesus offers is eternal life. And you can live victorious every day in God. There'll be bumps in the road, but you can live victorious in God if you will allow the Holy Spirit to burn in you, to burn in you. Don't let the flame of the Holy Spirit go out in your life because Jesus would never have been born apart from the Holy Spirit. Programs won't get you to heaven. Only the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit will get you to heaven. You want to be happy? Try Jesus today. He was born over 2,000 years ago in a manger for a sinner such as I that messed up big time. But he forgive me. He gave me another chance. And I didn't deserve another chance. I deserved hell. That because of the Holy Spirit, I live. I live and I live in victory. And I'm encouraging you today as I close. Don't look under the tree for your gifts. Look to the Father for your victory today. I love you. I love you. 
I love each and every one of you. From Sandy Bay, Jamaica, to Montego Bay, Jamaica, to Kenya, Africa, to Tanzania, Africa. I have friends all over the world. I love you. Those of you in Tennessee, I love you. Those of you here in North Carolina, I love you. I love all of you here in the United States. I'm just a country preacher that preaches simple. I don't use big words. I use the word of God. Read from the word of God and let God lead me. I'm nothing fancy. What matters is the Holy Spirit's conviction on your life. Because that's when you change. I hope you have the best Merry, Merry Christmas of your entire life. Don't think about who you lost or who died or who left you and they're still living. You think about Jesus Christ. You think about Jesus Christ. Don't get sidetracked on folks. Folks will disappoint you. Folks will hurt your feelings. They'll do everything because folks are selfish and prideful. But will you trust Jesus today? The greatest gift of the Holy Spirit is born and alive. I serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords today. The church where I pastor, we will have service Christmas night at 6 p.m. in Jamesville, North Carolina at Family Worship Center on old US 64. Because it's the right thing to do. You need to bring your family to church. If you don't know your family by now, you'll never know them. They need to know the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll be in church Christmas night with those that want to be with us. I thank you for watching the program. Join me next Sunday night. And don't forget, January the 5th. I'll be at the Hampton Inn in Williamston, North Carolina, 6 o'clock, 6 p.m., with a word from God for you. Pray for the service. It's January the 5th. And until next Sunday night, I'm Pastor David Ray of Williamston, a Husky, North Carolina. Let God move in your life this week and merry merry christmas from growing together ministry and i love you and god loves you